I watched the scene mm-hmm. for uh, quote unquote research purposes. Understandable. Yep. I'd be mad if you didn't. You'd be mad if I did. <laughs> no, right. I'd be indifferent if you didn't. But, right. Yeah. Is it, is it weird sometimes knowing that like your friends have seen your scenes or at this point, does it not matter? Nah, because it's like I do porn. It's like the right. idea is oh. for a lot of people to see it. And sometimes it is weird to realize just who has seen it. But no, ultimately, it's like they're they're supposed to see it, right? Like even yesterday, we did this live stream orgy thing. And I'm, you know, thinking there's probably a lot larger percentage of No Jumper fans who are watching it because we're live streaming it. Like, and mm-hmm. I, I mean, I'm, if anything, I was I was hyped on the idea that they're uh, getting to witness me having a good time on camera, just like this. We're having a good time on camera, right? In a different so, way. It's a little less intense, but yeah, <laughs> a lot less intense. Okay, so I watched the scene. So the scene was already announced, mm-hmm. and it got released. It was all over, like all the the free porn sites and everything else like that that I occasionally frolic in, and. Okay, so the, the scene starts, you know, I, you know, she had already done the announcement, which kind of, you know, ended up getting memed. <laughs> you know, the whole thing of her, like, sitting there kind of bent over, and then he kind of walked up behind her. Still to this day, that yeah, is Someone photoshopped crazy. it. There's, there, there's now, like, people taking Jason Love's place and walking in and, you know, pretending to it's be It's like them. a TikTok template now, so you can make one very, very easily. Oh, you easily. could actually, it's a TikTok yeah, it's template. Like it's already there for wow. you. You just okay. have to film behind it, Yeah. Watching the video, the one thing that really shocked me a little bit was the cream pie. Mm. As someone who's watched porn most of his life, uh, clearly that's not the usual way a porn scene goes. Usually there's a cum shot, Mm -hmm. right? And I would think in this particular situation, she's married, she has a kid, there would be a pullout. Right. But instead... There was a cream pie. Going into the scene, did you and her have a conversation about that part? No. That was a little bit of a surprise. So you were surprised? I was surprised. Um, you know, sometimes things happen on the porn set that are out of the performer's control. And um, it was just decided that day that there wasn't going to be the usual pop shot and that they had to uh, they had to complete the scene in that way. Okay. Were you a little upset? I was a little bit surprised, for sure. But, you know, once once I uh, wrapped my head around it, no, I wasn't too upset. It's like, if anything, the average porn scene that I watch has a lot of stuff going on that her scene didn't have. There's a lot of, there's a lot of asshole licking. There's a lot of you know, like grabbing them by the back of the head and aggressively fucking the back of their throat. There's a lot of different things that sometimes happen in different porn scenes. So, you know, a little bit of a cream pie didn't really bother me too much. <laughs> a little bit of a cream pie. Okay. I, I don't know how much it was, but. <laughs> well, you had mentioned, uh, I think, one of your tweets or one of your interviews that if she got pregnant, you would raise the baby as your own. Yeah, that was me memeing it. Uh Basically, like, the thing that we didn't expect that took place as a result of this whole thing was that it ended up being one of the biggest news stories in the country and, I guess, the world for the better part of, like, a month and a half, which I really didn't expect. Like, the other day, somebody uh, in the Reddit, they they screenshotted um, the, the, the graph of my, like, Google search, Google Trends results, right? And it, it, it only shows the last five years. But it's basically, like... Adam 22 barely exists for the entirety of my career. And then I skyrocket into national prominence over the course of the last month or so and to the point where it reached a hundred on the list of Google trends. So I went from like, not really like kind of like a niche phenomenon, no jumper and me to the point of us becoming like just the, the talk of the town for a period of time. So that was a little shocking um, and I'm feeling it in real life as well. Like me and my girl went to the beach the other day and it was just, it's a whole new world now. Like, I'm really, just, I'm just getting recognized by so many more people that it was kind of astounding. I don't know like what percentage of those people end up necessarily uh, going to no jumper and watching it or whatever, but it really just took us into a different stratosphere as a result of, uh, this news cycle that has, uh, surrounded this. Well, oh, but it, 
as far as me raising yeah. the child. <laughs> I don't know how I got on that. <laughs> back, back to the topic. That was a joke. Yeah, I did a lot of memeing. Like, you know, I think she announced it on a Tuesday or I talked about it on the podcast on a Tuesday. And then I think we were at the farmer's market on the following Sunday. So maybe five days later or so. And I think I just realized like, you know what? I'm going to have fun with this. I'm going to like really, really lean into this and just have conversations publicly about it and let the world know how I really feel about it, which in that case was like, well, I've seen it. I'm not horrified by this. I actually enjoyed watching it. And I think that was what really made it go crazy viral at a certain point was just the fact that I was willing to come out and talk about it and acknowledge that I didn't have a problem with it and everything. And it just kind of took on a life of its own where I, I knew that it was going to be, you know, I knew we would talk about it on here. I knew academics would talk about it. I knew our Reddit would go crazy. I knew that it would be a thing in hip hop. I guess I just didn't understand that everyone was going to latch on to it, including, you know, the conservative world where all of a sudden I have Andrew Tate talking about it with Tucker Carlson and, you know, just like a huge number of people talking about me that probably had never heard about me before. 